Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Yep, I went and got an electric chainsaw. I went and got the works 14 inch one here. It is WG305. Um, I'm not gonna lie, two months ago or so I went to Harbor Freight because I wanted to get the Harbor Freight Portland one, but I walked in the store, they're all gone. I talked to somebody in there and they said that they pulled them all off the shelves for some reason. I do not know why. But they did, so I've been kind of bummed for a while. And I got a wild hair the other day thinking I want to get another electric chainsaw. So I went ahead and bought this one today. Um, I drove into the Lowe's in Bellingham, Washington and got it. Here's some of the specs for you guys. Um, they make a 16, they make a bunch of different sizes. Uh, this one was $49. I figured I can't go wrong there. The reviews were great. Um, yeah, it's 8 amp, 120 volt. Uh, for what I need, I think it's going to be more than enough. Um, comes in this funky packaging. You can see half of the thing hangs out. It's kind of funny looking, but anyways, let me get it unpackaged here, and uh, I'll show you what's in the box. Okay, the little thing on the handle here is just some info about checking the chain tension. Let's see if it'll focus in for you guys here. And some other information, chain bar and assembly, how it all goes together, right, wrong, blah, blah, blah. Here's your manuals. Um, you'll notice there's zero assembly required, which is really cool. It does, I do believe. No, this one doesn't. Different one I looked at has a safety. So there's no safety on this one. Um, here's where your oil will go, which you'll notice it came with zero oil. There you go. Your plug in, then you run your cord, you loop it up through here and hook it. Um, we'll show you all that once we get it hooked up. It's got a safety button here to pull the trigger, otherwise you cannot pull it. There's a window here to see how your oil level is doing. A little bit more information on the motor there. You'll see the teeth here, just plastic. There's the bar, low kickback. I don't know what that means or how it works, but supposedly it's a good thing. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Chain looks really nice. It'll focus in on here for you. Get it to the t just the tip. So yeah. Anyway. Well, I suppose the next step is we'll get some bar oil and uh, extension cord and some wood, and we'll start cutting. So we'll be right back. Okay, we got some bar oil in it. I got it hooked up. I did one trigger press just to make sure that it works, but um, you can see here on the window, the bar oil, it says to do one press like that before each cut. I pushed it a few times because I just wanted to see some oil coming out, but so far I haven't seen much. Oh, it's unplugged. Okay, so you got the trigger press. I notice after doing enough times, I am getting a little bit of oil. On the bar here, you can see some little specks here and there. So, oh, there's a big blob on there. So, all right, and it's finally coming out. Just takes a little while probably to get it through the system. So, I've got a couple little logs here, nothing major, but um, we'll do some cuts here, show you how it works. This will be the first time. <laughs> okay, here we go. First cut on the work saw. It, it grabs pretty good. Okay, did pretty good. We'll bring that back. Thank you. Here's the piece that come off. You can see it cuts pretty good. You can tell it, it kind of bounced because I didn't have a real good hold on it. But um, 
cut. Pretty nice. This is pretty dry though. But I think it'll work great on everything. So I'll probably make a few more cuts. I might set the wood on the ground and see how that works any better. go work pretty good have to readjust the chain a little bit but it stayed on did a good job okay. this is gonna work great for what I need it to do which is not much just cutting up limbs and some little stuff so big thumbs up for me Nice, works great, I like it. It's gonna come in really handy. Okay, a couple little side notes. Here's how you use the little deal to hold the cord, um, the pumper. Tightening the chain is really kind of awkward. It tells you to loosen it, then push up on it like this or something. I haven't been able to have much luck with that. Best luck I've had was pulling it, kind of pulling these apart and tighten it as best I can. And the only other thing that's kind of weird is when you start this really, really chatters and jumps as you see in the videos, but other than that, it cuts this wood great. Maybe some really wet stuff would be different, so maybe we'll give that a try next. There's a little piece of birch I have. We'll give this a try, see if it cuts any different. I don't have anything really wet or anything better around here, so we'll see if it jumps too. <laughs> Okay, so it was just that other wood. So there you go. This stuff's pretty funky dry. You can see it looks pretty weird, but cut through that like butter. So I guess it makes a difference on the type of wood. So I said the wood got cut, and the filter got cut, and these cuts. What do you think? Are they good cuts? Yep. You recommend it? Is that a good saw? Good saws. Like this, you push. Yeah, you push it for the oiler. No, 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 don't touch, buddy. This, and turn on. Yeah, I do know. <laughs> and cut it. Just like that. I'm gonna see if I can't cut this one from the top down, kind of like one of them candle things they make. And maybe we'll do that tonight for fun, see how it works out. We're working her a little bit there. You can see the chain loosened up a bunch again too. Get back please. So, they say you push, do something like this. And that doesn't do very good. So I've had better luck just pulling them apart and tightening it. Then you get it tighter. Like tighter? We'll just keep going. Keep going. Shit. Makes a lot of noise. Does a lot of makes a lot of noise. A lot of chattering. A lot of chattering. All right, let's do the other cut here. I'll give it a couple more punches of oil. I think maybe my oil is a little thicker than normal.
see that chain loosened up again already. Either it's just really warm and stretching, but it's doing it. Nope. You can see that cut's about full bar, a 14 inch or so. Maybe a little too much, I don't know, but it's doing it. But, I don't know, kind of fun. Can you move out of the way with the camera, please? Thank you.